Now to a breaking news update. The assault weapons ban in Illinois is all but a done deal. Just a few hours ago, state senators passed the new law, which now goes back to the House lawmakers and then on to the governor. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov has been following the bill's progress. She joins us now. Dana, lawmakers know, though, they still have a fight ahead of them. Yeah, Joe and Erica, those opposed to banning assault-style weapons say as soon as the governor signs the bill into law, lawsuits will start flying. But that threat didn't stop supporters from celebrating what they describe as a hard-fought victory. 34 to 20 is declared pass. That, the final state Senate vote on the Protect Illinois Communities Act, banning a long list of assault weapons and high-capacity magazines over 12 rounds. The vote coming down after almost four full days of backroom discussions and debate. This is the first time we've gotten to a floor vote. And it's about time, said Highland Park State Senator Julie Morrison, who's introduced similar bills in the past. She talked about the trauma of being at the city's 4th of July parade when a shooter with a legally purchased semi-automatic weapon opened fire. But the 15-minute pre-vote debate was really dominated by senators against the ban. All of you that are thinking about voting for this today, you should resign. You also must know that uh, I and millions of other gun owners in this state will not comply. The head of the Federal Firearms Licensees of Illinois says if it's up to them, compliance won't even be necessary. We have local council, we have national council, we have raised substantial money to fund the litigation and we'll be in federal court just as soon as this thing is signed. Senate President Don Harmon concedes the ban won't end gun violence. Uh, we don't pretend that it will, but it is an additional tool to curb the flow of uh, firearms into our communities. And Harmon's ready for a fight. We'll see you in court. The Senate version of the bill goes back to the House tomorrow, but that's really just a formality because minutes after tonight's vote, the Senate president, House speaker, and governor issued a joint statement supporting the bill. I expect the governor will sign the bill tomorrow and it will go into effect immediately. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Joe and Erica. Dana, thank you.